Hi friends, Pastor Dave here again with our Friday night devotional. I took the day off yesterday. I pre-recorded the devotional because we were in Disney World yesterday. I told the kids years ago, I'm not going back to that crowded place until the grandkids are old enough to enjoy it. Well, they're old enough and I wanted to be a part of that so I went with them yesterday. But even though, even as a pastor, I might take a day off from the office, that doesn't mean we take a day off from God. You know, some people do that almost every day. They're a Christian on Sunday morning, and then the rest of the week they're just normal. But we shouldn't be like that. The Bible says we should pray continually. Every statement we make, every thought of our life, every action we take, should be infused with the knowledge that we have the Spirit of God living in us, and we carry Him with us everywhere we go. Deuteronomy 6.4 says something very similar. This is the statement that's read at every synagogue worship. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. A lot of people in Israel took this literally. And you can go to Israel today and you can see at the Wailing Wall men with leather straps wrapped all the way around their forearms. And they have a container that contains copies of scriptures. Or they'll have a box that's wrapped around their forehead, the straps wrapped around their forehead, again with copy of scriptures, or they nail a container to the doorpost of their houses with the scriptures as well. And all that is well and good. It's a good reminder. But I think as we have a symbol, we're supposed to have the reality too. And that is all of this stuff is supposed to be part of our lives all the time. When we're sitting at home, when we're walking along the road, when we're lying down, when we get up, everything we're doing, we should be thinking about this is something I'm doing in the presence of God. And we should take every opportunity to talk to our kids about God, talk about to our grandkids about God. It should be part of our daily life and our daily conversation. It's not a Sunday morning thing. It's a lifestyle. And when we do that, then we receive the full blessing of what God has for us. When we realize how much of a blessing God is and what a good difference he makes in our lives, why would we want only a seventh of our life to be filled with him? Why would we want any part of our life to be withheld? Obviously, we wouldn't. So let's make sure that for, be, for us being a believer, is a full-time thing. That we have him in our on our lives all the time and that we recognize that and live like it. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, that you care about us every day. I pray, Father, that we would be open to your presence every day as well. Thank you, Lord, for all who are listening today. Bless them in their times of need. Be with them and increase their joy. May they sense your presence today. And may you fill their lives every moment of the day with your presence. And your presence is joy. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. God bless and have a wonderful night.